As producers, we're all trying to get our music heard and get noticed. Here are a few things that you can do today to stand out without selling out. Let's do it. First on the list is being hungry. And I'm not talking about that Big Mac that you ate last night. <laughs> I see so many producers who are not getting the results they want and they're wondering why. And what it generally boils down to is that they don't want it bad enough. Be the producer that goes against the grain. While all those other producers are out there vibing at the club, yo, stay at home, make beats, get better at your mixing, watch tutorials. Do the things that it's gonna take to get you to the next level. I know it can get hard because you see your friends out on Snap, you know, they're having a good time, but this is where you just gotta trust in the process and know that you're on a different route. Take pride in that and know that it's gonna really help you stand out over time. Second on the list is creating your own production style. This is something that kind of naturally happens over time, but can happen faster if you're intentional about a few things. The first thing is to take note of what elements you like from each genre. You kind of want to look at your own unique production style as a gumbo. You know, you're going to take a little bit of this, like, oh, I like that kick pattern from that song. Oh, I like that chord progression from that song. And then you're just going to put it all together, you know, add a soft clipper and it's going to be crazy. But for real, it's actually going to be dope when you just take different elements from different genres and songs that you like and put them together. Then it's gonna be your unique sound and something that you enjoy and I'm sure other people would as well. Something else that'll really help you develop your unique sound is experimenting. I would recommend setting aside a couple hours a week to just do something crazy that you would normally never do. Experiment with different genres, experiment with different sound selections. Just really don't be afraid of something sounding bad. You know, nine times out of 10, it might sound like but that one time out of 10 is gonna be that hidden gem that allows you to create an entirely new genre, that allows you to blow up, that allows you to get streams, that allows you to go crazy. This brings us to number three on the list, and that is to build a brand. I think a lot of people overcomplicate this. What you're basically trying to do when you're building a brand is to just showcase and build up your identity. When someone thinks about who you are and what you bring to the table, how do they feel? Do they feel excited? Do they feel emotional? You know, really identify this and what you want people to feel when they think about who you are. For instance, McDonald's. When people think of McDonald's, they think of America, they think of family, they think of community, they think of fast, enjoyable french fries that they can eat at a moment's notice. Once you know who you are, then it just comes down to packaging it in the best way possible. Now, I know what you're thinking to yourself. You're thinking, Josh, I already know that I should be building a brand already. What steps do I need to be taking today? And this is for you. Step number one is to decide your brand name as a producer. Are you gonna go by your legal name? Are you gonna let your friend decide for you? Is it gonna be a reference from a movie that you loved as a kid? Deciding this is the first step that you need to take if you haven't already. Step number two is to write on a piece of paper what you want people to feel when they think of that brand name. Do you want to give off edgy vibes? Do you want to be mysterious? Do you want them to think of hard drops or smooth melodies or what? Think of as many things as you possibly can, even colors if they come to mind, because all of these are going to be the building blocks of your brand. Step number three is to create content that aligns with those feelings. What are different video editing techniques? What are different filters that you can use to portray this image and to make people feel that from you? Now at the beginning, it's okay if you don't have an audience and it's okay if you don't know who you are, as long as you stick with it over time as long as you keep experimenting and trying different things eventually something is going to stand out and that's what you double down on now last but not least on the list is just to be a good person i know right who knew i know this seems so simple but this is actually the best way to stand out that i know of the music industry is so cutthroat at heart i feel like so many people out in la and new york you know you'll run into these situations where people are just trying to get ahead and they'll do anything you know even if it's screwing people over being a genuine person and a person that's always looking to help others first is gonna get you so much further than if you just try to look out for yourself. This is because people are gonna want to invest in you because you're investing in them. They're gonna wanna trust you. They're gonna wanna help you get opportunities. If you told somebody that you were gonna do something, make sure to follow through with that or at least communicate with them clearly and reschedule it for another time. Another thing to do is just take time every day to comment on people's posts. Now, when I say comment, I don't mean spamming them with links of your music. What I mean is leaving genuine encouragement and feedback about the content that they posted. In my opinion, the more specific, the better. It could be something as simple as like, yo, that chord progression is sick or fam, those those hi hat <laughs> fucking fan. Following this sort of commenting strategy is actually an amazing way to build a really engaged fan base because you've already taken the time to invest into their lives. Most people are so caught up in themselves and are not taking the time out of their day to do this. Be one of the ones who does, and I promise it'll help set you apart from the crowd. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed these tips. Don't feel any pressure to put them all into action at once. Take it day by day, and remember that this is a marathon, not a sprint. If you want to see more of these videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button for the algorithm. So go make some fire music today. Hope to see you soon.